gonna whoop that candy ass. Yeah. If you ever think about whooping my candy ass, you better wake up and apologize. Okay. <laughs> Y'all commentating over all my videos. All my videos. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what up? That's tough, folks. Hey, yeah, don't forget to hit the like, share, comment, subscribe. Best fantasy booker on the planet. That's tough gaming. Check them out. Doing big things here in Louisiana. Hey, one day, one day it could happen. I mean, it only takes one video. It only takes one goofy comment. It only takes one one good video to get you where you need to be. Exactly. He's in front of the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Yeah, to go here, I just need to go here. <laughs> no, I don't think it's. I don't think it really takes that. I think it really takes that you. You gotta be dedicated. You have an everyday thing. Okay. You gotta treat like a job. Listening to yeah, um, to y'all, yeah, they gonna be like, uh, they, they gonna be on all your videos. They gonna be on all your videos. <laughs> they gonna be like, yeah, we like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, y'all want me to mute? Like, I can mute him, mute him if y'all want, want me to. That dude's a funny motherfucker. Uh, I <laughs> so now when I post this video, I gotta, I gotta let everybody know. I gotta let everybody know. We got commentary over <laughs> Hey, but for real, one day, uh, one day we need to get together and, like, I can do some commentary for your shit, dude. Like, I. I can sit there and, you know, talk a good game about wrestlers and stuff like that. Every Friday, like, who comments on your videos? Yeah, I'm just like, one day, it's your videos, but who commentates? One day, do a live, okay, and I'll make sure that I get in there in time before the live. The only thing is, is that... The Messiah. Your your live will be like a few seconds before my commentary because thing, of me having to watch the match and stuff. Mm. But I can I see that so I can kind of adjust the way that I commentary like as far as I can call out past tense and moves, you know. It's just it's a way that you'll have to do it to yeah, be able to do yeah. something like that. I know, they could hit me, but I, I have to wait to hear you. Well, see, that's just it. I wouldn't necessarily and commentate on one, no the current back. move. I would be more commentating on brutal, Michael. the person, you if you catch what I'm saying. Oh, I got you. Like, I'll be talking more about the person. You can talk more about the moves. And that's how, it, that's how you do that. Like, I could be like, oh, you see Cody Rhodes, he's, that's sorry, son of a bitch. And you'd be like, hey, don't talk about him like that. As Cody Rhodes does a clothesline, it's he crazy. picks him up and, you know. It's crazy that's you said that, that right yeah. when you said yeah. Cody Rhodes, I yeah. just yeah. did a move. Not just the superstar in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, how I, you see how I do that. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, the son of a plumber, making his return back at Royal Rumble. Who knows what position he's going to come in. The best bet for him would be 27, seeing as we've had 85% winners come from the number 27. See? Just like that. I said, what I said, I did the moonsault at the time you got That's what I did. I did the moonsault at the top rope. Right when you said Cody Rowe. <laughs> Still in the fight, but for how much longer? Really that just hurt. Did you see, like, I constant pressure being put on Murphy here. It's like a muzzle being placed on Murphy's offense. Oh. Wow, the power that takes is insane. I think we lost Vic. I think we lost Vic. On the second rope. I don't think he is. He's going to win. This could I don't know. Hey, that's mine. Now, now is not the time to wallow in discipline. Back out. The pressure must oh, be kept on. Oh, there you go. There he goes. You're in here. 
They said you had left. And Murphy puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against her. Time now for Murphy to get his energy up and claw back into the Spud, you already get off, man? Looking for your name. <laughs> I don't see you, dude. Set up in the corner of the ring. Great wherewithal on the counter. Hang it back with their own counter. Murphy turns that away. And another counter. Come on with y'all. Come on with y'all. Great job. Like the team. Just like coming through, man. Well, I'm with. With Spuds, I would like to see War Games be put in there. I would like to see more weapons be put in. I would like creative entrance in there. Trash cans back in the game. Trash cans would be fun. With the lid. But I would like to see. I would like to see them put more weapons. Um, I would like to see. When you say more weapons, you mean under the ring and not the same four or five? Yeah, I don't want to see the shovel, the hockey stick, the baseball bat, the kendo stick, and the stop sign. I want to see, I want to see maybe a trash can. I want to see like maybe a toolbox of tools up under there that you can hit somebody with. You hit it and it explodes. You know, like that'd be cool. Of Raw, the game Raw, the TV. Yeah. Oh, man. I think that that would be it. fun. Feeling it now. I want to see him taking this outside. This could be good. Well, you can do that. Can't could do what? Can't you have to. What? You have to have so many uh, smack. You have to have so many. I was about to call them SmackDowns. You have to have uh, so many uh, finishers built up position. before you can do that. No, you don't. You just need one finisher. No, you just need one finisher. Just one? And this yeah. match will head back yeah. to the ring. Yeah, we'll see you he is revving up the engine. He's not going to let it. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. You know, I, I like think that they definitely like need to do more to the extreme Ramsey side of it, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, way too that's gravity yeah. taking a break before coming down like thunder. He's looking shaky at best now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Yeah. Could you imagine playing this on the PC? You could do all kinds of stuff. You could mod it out and yeah, I mean it just looked ridiculous, yeah. But when this game came out, they had it to where you were able to put two belts on line. Why would they take that out? I think from coming from 2K20 and the way that that one looked to this one, they've done way better. <laughs> like you gotta give them, you gotta give them a hand for that one because. Spudge doing up, man. He's not here. Shoulder up, shoulder up. He just won't give up. We have, we make our belts. I think that he can challenge somebody. That opens the door for Murphy. Yep. Murphy puts a cross to the corner. He's mounting against him. Time now for Murphy to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. I wish they just had. I feel just had more as long as you don't upload the, as long as you didn't upload that belt, from him here. Mm -hmm. yeah, that they can't like just keep that belt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's oh, yeah. the tables. You know what I'm saying? Like they can win it, and it be said that they won it, but they don't keep the belt. Yeah, like that would be one thing too that they could do to where then it, you don't piss off everybody. Is like, say me, you, say us three right here, decided to have one title that we could just fight each other for all the time. And as long as you're in that group with each other, it can be swapped back and forth with each other. Shot to the chest. You know, but you can't take it. You can't go and just keep it. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's a title that gets passed around, I guess, from clan members. I guess that's how you would put it. You know how each each one of these have, like, groups that you can join and stuff? It's something that you can keep with each other, but be able to play with it online, you know? To hand it back and forth to your friends and stuff. Murphy's attack gets reversed. 
Uh, my landlord might be here. Hang on just a second. They said earlier, make sure y'all like this video. And this match is over. And subscribe. And hit that notification oh, wait a bell. Minute. Look who's here, Michael. Cameron Cross. Coming out to confront Cody Rhodes. I want to see this one. Look at this. This should be a good match. This should be good. And that's what it's all about, the championship. Message delivered. Here she comes. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from New Mexico, the WWE Global Champion, Jack Carl Jackson. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Taito is not on the line, but she knows a loss tonight will mean a future defense. She will be on her A game tonight. An impressive talent in the women's division. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, to try. A world traveled veteran of the game with over a decade and a half of experience. Yeah, Dewdrop has won titles all over the world, and she is certainly looking to replicate that success here in the WWE. Dewdrop possesses amazing power and surprisingly underrated agility. And in a short time, Dewdrop has proven to be a main event caliber competitor with a great future in store. No disqualifications in this matchup. What does that mean for these superstars? Well, this is the type of match where superstars really show their true colors or given free reign to be as aggressive and ruthless as they desire. It means someone's leaving in an ambulance. That's what no disqualification means. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Run right through with the spear. Tough position to be caught in here. Up and over. Springboard. Shooting star press. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. She can end it here. One, two, almost two and a half. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. with these knee strikes. Dewdrop looking powerless to every attack. This is all of Dewdrop's fortitude getting tested. The fatigue is setting in for her. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? 
A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. Teeth. Holy meet the barricade. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Oh, right into the barricade. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh no. Head first. Shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up and one. Got to change something up with the pin technique. And now she's given us all a chance to bask in her effervescence. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, God, that hurt. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. Oh, God, she might be in some trouble now. False Count Anywhere matches are absolutely no joke, and they're showing us that firsthand right now. Saw it coming and got out of there. Just a continuous rush on Dewdrop here. Yeah, Dewdrop's defensive instincts need to kick in. Dewdrop wards that attack off. Dewdrop might be able to start mounting something here. Yeah, Dewdrop getting some newly determined focus. Turned that one around. Ah! Ah! Ooh, she just turned it around. Oh my gosh, what impact. Into the barricade. Whip right into the barricade. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Oh, my God. Oh, God. New drop keeps her away. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. She scores big with the counter. A counter answered by another counter. Slides back into the ring. She heads into the ring. Y'all still there? Here comes. Yo. Yo. Completely hello. Out. Hello, hello, hello. The cover. Two, three. An emphatic victory. What a battle for the champion there? tonight. Yeah, she's got to be breathing a huge sigh of relief. Uh -oh. Yeah, here I'm just on the phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't nobody saying that, so I didn't know. <laughs>